So we're going to do a first patch this month, uh, and the key additions will be bug fixes, many, many, many bug fixes, uh, adjustments to gameplay, all new gacha res, and a total expansion of the arcade adventure game that you guys enjoy. So we're going to focus on the first thing, which is we will be fixing all bugs found over the release period, including our biggest bug with trophies not correctly saving for those who don't have save data from Season 1. Um, so a lot of you guys have probably found this bug where in Main Street, especially in some other locations, trophies just like kind of respawn they don't collect correctly uh sometimes they'll even just completely reset which has made a lot of people kind of upset uh because they can't truly finish the game with all 80 trophies and we're definitely working hard to fix this it should be quite easy to fix which is good um but that will be our first priority with bug fixes and that will be in the first patch so that's going to be good um if we go to the next slide we can see adjustments so We'll be adjusting and balancing gameplay to better suit your feedback, making coins easier to get and less grindy feeling, uh, adjusting prices in the Emporium shop and overall making the experience more fun and fair for everyone. So a lot of people have you know, given us heaps of feedback uh, verbally, but also visually through uh, gameplay videos and all that. It's been really great to see you guys play in, and we're trying to make the best experience we can and adjust things to be more fun to play and more fair uh, to earn coins and stuff like in the arcade game, which a lot of you guys have had some trouble getting through and completing and, and maybe sometimes relying too much on that uh, for Emporium coins. So we're going to be adjusting all that and hopefully making it a bit of a be better balance. So yeah, hopefully that's more fun. Uh, but if we go to the next slide, all new gacha res. Uh, and this one excites me because one of my favorite parts about season two was creating new content, like or truly original content. Um, you know, it wasn't just, you know, modeling something that's based off the movie. It was actually making an item or an add on or some sort of decoration in the park that was our own design, but still based on the principle. Uh, that we saw in the in the movies. So that was my favorite part of season one, uh, sorry, season two. And we're kind of going to do that again with the new gacha res. And we're going to be creating and adding all new rare add-ons, items, and even themes that you can win in the gacha. So we've heard your feedback and suggestions regarding new possible items, and we're exploring many new ideas. And if we go to the next slide, we can actually see one of the first ideas that I would like to explore is the retro balloon package. Now, this is just something simple, um, but it's, it's an idea that I kind of had towards the end of the development when we started making the arcade thing. Uh, I love the arcade visuals and it was really fun to make like these retro pixelated graphics. And I would love to make a balloon package with uh, all these different designs on, on some various balloons. And they're gonna be a bit more special than this representation. Obviously this kind of like concept art in a way, but it's, it's going to be really fun, and I hope you guys uh, look out for that. So that's one of the packages that might be in the gacha. If we go to the next slide, you can see the next one, which I was actually in sort of the mid-development of completing, which is the Amber Cane Drop Ride. So I don't know if you guys have won it, but in Season 2, if you play the gacha, if you, ha if you have really good luck, <laughs> uh, you can actually win a ride which is called the egg spinner and it's a really fun ride it like spins around it's it's straight from you know what we heard of it from the movie and i kind of brought it to life in in my interpretation of it uh and it has music and it, you can actually click on it and it'll, it'll transport you into the view of the ride and you'll spin around in these egg things so that was really fun and i kind of want to expand on that uh this was one idea i had with a a, a giant amber cane that would drop down like just you know like a normal theme park ride so i, I want to complete that and and kind of see where all these other ride ideas go to so that's that one now the next slide is a new theme which is the spring theme uh i'm gonna leave this one up a bit of mystery but this one is going to be kind of like a more sunny theme 
Um, I noticed something that we have a lot in our themes is, you know, apart from sun, sunrise, we have a lot of themes that are more dark. And I want to kind of experiment with something that's really sunny and, and happy and like, it, you know, it has lots of flowers and, and different things because you've never really seen Jurassic World or really anything Jurassic Park that's really kind of that type of style. So I, I really want to explore what would a Jurassic World look like during like a really spring festival type thing. So but I'm going to explore that and, and we'll see how it comes out. Uh, but those are the three main ideas I have for the Gacha update. Um, we will, of course, be adding more stuff as we go on, but those are the things I'm going to focus on for this first patch. Uh, so, if we go to the next slide, you can see the Arcade Expansion. So, this one's the main focus of the patch, I would say. We really love the Arcade. I especially love the Arcade. Um, I want to make it better, and it has so much potential to just build upon it and improve it and listen to your guys' feedback and add on it. So. I want to add new levels, new enemies, new power-ups, boss battles, bonus levels, and overall improvements and additions to Mr. DNA's arcade adventure. Um, if we go to the next slide, you can just see just a little preview of some stuff that we've been working on. This is very early development, but uh, we are working on new levels, which is really fun. Um, you can see a background there of, of a possible spooky level that you, you might guess. Um, and there are two new power-ups over there, which you can just kind of interpret <laughs> what that might be. But we'll be sharing some some more news when it's more concrete and, and final in the near future. But we're working very hard and we really do plan to try to make this first patch, make the arcade game a full game, like an actual kind of thing as Super Mario Brothers in a way, <laughs> like a, a full complete game where you you have more progression and you can save and everything so we we got lots of ideas and lots of things that we're working so, on so i'm excited for you guys to see it um but if we go to the final slide for the, the patch today when can we expect the patch well we don't have much time but we are planning to do this before the end of september it'll probably be honestly probably be like the last few days of september um but that is the estimated day right now. I think we can absolutely reach that goal. And I think this is going to be a really interesting process because we've never done patches before. And I'm really excited what we can bring to season two. So yeah, do you guys want to just talk a bit about your thoughts on the patch? Because I mean, this is also sort of the first time you guys are hearing more in-depth details on this. With season one, we had a lot of content and we really felt like this is a full game this is like everything and then for season two we have just more than doubled the amount of content in the game and right. i think with the new patching system it'll be really fun to in like a year or two look back like where we what we release now as season two but then you know we're now going to be able to release like smaller packages but then if you look back in like a year you're gonna have so much new content I think exactly. That's be really great. No, I, I completely agree, and I'm, I'm really excited to see what season two ends up becoming in in a year or so. <laughs> it's going to be really exciting.